ASIA runs the Midwest CCDC, the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competitions. We have a series of competitions for two and four year students in order to come together to exercise some of their competitive skills. It's an exercise that complements their whole series of coursework on cybersecurity and information technology. The reason we get together like this is to complement their skills, to add sort of a capstone experience that integrates the kind of training that they have. They're required to take over a network, to manage that network, to work with a professional team of white team judges that act as their managers in order to script and to perform a number of tasks in that organization. They are also beleaguered with penetration testers, red team people that are there as professional penetration testers to hack away at their system. So it's a simultaneous event in terms of them having to ward off attacks, but at the same time keep services up and perform all the tasks of their white team managers. Yeah, she hasn't got the bind account ready, so that's one reason, um, one reason why that's not working. Our focus specifically is to uh, support capacity building for institutions to increase the number of technicians in the workforce related to cybersecurity. That is our focus, is, uh, is again building workforce capacity, technician capacity in cybersecurity. To that end, we continue to improve and, and innovate and research on what is the best way to develop uh, the whole entire student. Our interest in being here with this, this event is to sit back and be able to look at the next generation of people that will come in and help us defend our network. And I'm a longtime believer about the college competitions and the critical skill sets that these kids actually get out of this, because it's not classroom. They're really sitting back and being able to develop skills against a red team, that is a hacking team, that is trying to break into their network so they have real-time skills to be able to do that and that kind of experience is extremely valuable for us to be able to bring into our systems and then be able to employ these kids. From an education standpoint it's, it's a very important event because we see how these young individuals are really working very hard to learn a new skill and to support whether it's a government organization or a commercial organization that they have the right skill set and they understand the best business practices that's required to support those organizations. Our expectation today is to get all our services up and running, keep the red team out of our boxes, and report as many injects as we can back to the white team. We had some issues, but we were able to, I think, pretty much work through them and move forward with everything. And today we picked up, and I think we got a little bit faster pace today, and things seem to be going a little more smoothly and we're looking forward to a positive end. It's fun, that's the best thing about it. We're having a, we're having a blast doing it. We have one service that's down. We're trying to get it up and running. Uh, I think it's down for everyone too. We hope to get it up running pretty soon. I think we're, we're struggling to get it uh, and that, that kind of adds to our stress. But it's been, going, it's been going smooth, it's been great. The Red Team, we're a team of uh, industry professionals who will come and emulate threats for the students that they would see in the real world. So try to give them as close to an analog of what they'll be facing. Uh, when they go out in the industry and have their career. One team has been kind of in, in top place here most of yesterday through this morning. Uh, the red team finally caught up to them. First through fourth place, it's anyone's guess. I mean, right now we got one team that's in top place. Looks like they're pretty solid, but uh, I would not be surprised if, if they slip down and somebody comes up from like fourth or third and juggles in. And as we get to the last couple hours, the red team really escalates their attacks and it really kind of uh, changes the picture a lot for a lot of these teams. It's uh, not a good time. Slash a little bit more intense. Just a second ago, um, the red team attacked us uh, and pretty much brought all our services down. Uh, so like the website and all the things went offline. Uh, we determined that it was an issue with the firewall and I believe yeah, we got it we've got everything back up and within about mm, five to ten minutes. That was pretty exciting. It's kind of nice to be able to like realize what the red team's done and oh yeah, we can do that. We got it. The 2013 CCDC has been a tremendous success. The CCDCs are a critical uh, event in that it, en it enables us to meet the goal. The goal is to increase the capacity of cybersecurity workers. And these events create excitement, they create uh, engagement of students, they create engagement of each of the institution's communities around cybersecurity. 
So it brings the program to a higher level. It's just more than teaching a group of classes or a certificate or a degree program, but they literally now are part of a national network and, a, and the ability to showcase their, their skills.